What's up fam? Now this week we have one of my favorite recipes. It's easy, it's delicious. So I want y'all join me. We're gonna slide down Mississippi and see what that pot roast be about. Let's get it. Like I said, we're gonna do the Mississippi pot roast today. There's very few ingredients. The prep time is minimum, all right? And it's packed with tons of flavor. So it's no fuss, no muss, say no more. Let's dive into the ingredients. As you can see, we only have six ingredients. We're gonna start off with a two to three pound chuck roast. We have a packet of au jus gravy. We have a packet of ranch seasoning, salad dressing, and recipe mix. Now make sure you get this one and not the ranch dip mix. Okay, we're gonna use about two to three tablespoons of uh, cooking oil to uh, sear your meat. You can use, I use canola oil, you can use vegetable oil, you can use olive oil, you know what I'm saying? Your imagination is your only limitation. Okay, we're gonna use a whole stick of butter. And then right here we have these pepperoncini peppers. And we're gonna use also use some of the juice that comes with it. Did I nail that? Yes, you did. That right. Okay. So the first thing you wanna do, you wanna heat your oil up in your skillet, okay? Until it gets nice and hot. Now, we're gonna get ready to go ahead and see our meat. You wanna see your meat two to three minutes on each side till it's good and brown. Okay, so the searing of your meat is a very essential step that you do not wanna leave out. Okay, we're not searing it to lock in the juices. Okay, that's not what we're doing. What we're doing is when you sear your meat, it's caramelizing the natural sugars in your meat, as well as it's browning the proteins in your meat. That's where you get that good crust from. And when it does that, that automatically amplifies and intensifies the savoriness and flavor for any meal that you're preparing. So when you plan on putting meat in the crock pot or you're gonna braise it in some other type of liquid, just make sure that you go ahead and sear it first. You will not regret it. All right, no one's have the battle. Remove your skillet from your heating source. Make sure you turn your stove off. So now we're ready to add our ingredients. First, go ahead and add your packet of au jus gravy. Okay, that went everywhere. Just sprinkle it. Next, you're gonna add your package of ranch seasoning. Okay, now I took the uh, peppers out the jars so they'd be easy accessible. You want to go ahead and put those in here. And uh, just remember that these peppers, they're not spicy at all. What they're doing is adding flavor. And the juice, go ahead and pour it as well. I use about a quarter cup. And lastly, you're gonna add your stick of butter. Place your top on. Set your crock pot to low. And we're gonna let that go for eight hours. Okay, so it's been eight hours on low. Let's see what we got. Uh, and that's what you want right there. Nice and juicy. Look at that bubbling. Let's see what we're looking like. Tearing apart. Super easy. Look at that. So tender. So tender. That's what you want. Just like that. I right, we're going to plate this up. See what it look like. Okay, so this is the finished product. We have the Mississippi Pot Roast at its finest. All right, fam, today I showed you guys how to make one of the best pot rolls I've ever had before. This one turned out delicious, as always. So I want you guys to go out there and do just like our motto says, let's make the world smile one plate at a time. One. 